Hello, so this is Matrix back with another video and we're here to talk about Operation Summer and I'm going to talk about what worked, what didn't work uh, from the last video and um, so I was just going to show you my achievements. Um, so I've finished all the uh, achievements per day for planes, tanks, and pilots. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is tanks. Um, so in the video, we talked about uh, doing the Cobra King for the United States being semi-easy. Um, that in the event there are a lot of people playing five seven five three arcade, and the Cobra King jumbo lineup is not really working. Um, it's working for your your um, your assists, but not really your kills. Uh, there's so many people out there taking six zero five seven tanks that just they you just they just kill you um it's almost impossible to get in a 5-0 game playing jumbos nowadays um and and i can show you right now in my american so it's 5-0 that's what i was using to get assist but if you look at my german lineup all 5-7 spgs vfws waffle trigger waffen trigger nash horn and Stuart Emil, Ticker Max. Everything that can pen a jumbo from the front with ease. And I've just been getting into these and I get into a jumbo game and just kick their ass. Um, USSR, same thing. I was playing IS-2s, IS-1s, T-34-85s, SU-85s, and on and on and on. So basically I was for this event, I'm just taking everything that will kill a jumbo from the front. Um, and if you do that, it's pretty easy. Um, I was also using the, the Chinu 2 lineup that we talked about before, 3.7. Uh, works beautifully. Uh, you start off with the Chinu 2. You go, if you die, you get into the Na 2 or the M24. If you see a lot of people going up in planes... The Soki is actually really good at um, shooting down planes. It does have a pretty big, uh, pretty long reload, but that is fine. Um, I think that's all I've been playing uh, for tanks. Uh, so for the air, so what a lot of people have been complaining about is uh, in the in the European Canadians Discord, or as we would call the Tech Hub, um, a lot of people have been playing lower tier jets and just killing all the bombers that go up because a lot of people know that everyone needs to get 10 tons of bomb drops. And so they're taking, you know, BF 109, G10s, G14s, and everything between like a 5 0 and a 6 0 air arcade lineup and just killing all the bombs that go out all the uh do 17s all the b29s the b25s uh this all the british bombers you know what do, what do we have for the british bombers uh the sterlings the lancasters and the lincolns all those are just basically meat uh you just go up in your BF 109, G10, G14, and you just kill Lincolns, Lancasters, and Bombers all day long now. And so, um, as most people will, uh, have noticed, they've changed bombing a little. Uh, just last week, you were able to take a, a DO 17 with the four 1,000 kilogram bombs and get, I think it was like three tons of bomb drops, and now you don't. Uh, so, they changed calculations on bomb drops lately. Um, you can figure out the exact formula just by going to, uh, modifications, going to the bombs and just basically multiplying that number. So each bomb is 600 times four, which is 2,400, uh, uh, kilograms. And you multiply and you turn that. So it's like 2.3 something tons. Um, I think it was just last week where every one of these bombs actually had almost 740 to 800 kilograms of explosives. So uh, keep that in mind. And the reason why I'm, I'm doing a 5-0 lineup is 
uh, if you go to the later uh, Donu 217s, you, they're 5.3 and 5.7s, um, especially with the HE177 in there too. You will see a lot higher uh, planes. So if you stick with this uh, 4.0, 4.7, 5.0 lineup, all bombers, you know, four bombers and two fighters, you can get your 10 tons of bomb drops in one or even two matches. So this is how I was getting the 10 tons. Uh, for the planes, I was using a couple different uh, lineups. Uh, I was using my Russian gold lineup. Um, and the reason why I was doing this is uh, I've actually earned almost three or four million silver lions since the beginning of this event. Um, and the reason why, it's it's a grinding event. You just grind. And so when you're doing grinding events, you can do one of two things. You can spade your vehicles that you are working on, or you can earn major silver lines so you can have a stockpile when the event's not going on. So if you take in a complete gold lineup like this, every vehicle 3.0, and you just earn money. Um, you With this lineup right here, if you get like a 8, 9, 10 kill match, you're going to earn between 100 and 200,000 silver lines each game. Um, so this is something you want to think about. So this is how I was earning um, 11 kill matches, and basically you just go up and you, and also this is only a 3.7 lineup, so you, at 3.7, you will not see those BF-109 G10s and G14s at 5.7. There's no way. So the highest you can see are the 4.7, um, you know, the uh, BF-109 Fs. Uh, that's about all you can see. You can see some uh, lower uh, FW-190s, but you will not see those hardcore FWs, or those Falkland Wolves, or those 109s, which is awesome. That's another reason to take that lineup. So everything was working pretty well um, for that. And the boats, for my boat lineups, I was doing the Americans. 3.0. Uh, the 3.0 lineup in boats has one advantage. You actually will see destroyers every once in a while, and which is a good thing because they're nice and slow and torpedo magnets. Um, so I was taking the Elko PT-765, the Higgins boats, 76-footer, uh, 78-footer, and the 77-footer, and just spading them out. And I also took the uh, the gold peak... Uh, Elko PT556, um, basically for earning silver lines and a little bit of research towards uh, my destroyer lineup. Um, I think I actually was doing, yeah, I was uh, researching the, uh, the hydrofoil for the Americans, the PGH-2. And... Um, so everyone knows in Arcade, you get 650 spawn points you can spawn in a fighter, and then another 650 spawn points you can spawn in your bomber. So the two things I was, the two planes I were taking were the the Hellcat Mark V, which has a pretty good bomb loadout and missile loadout, but also carries a torpedo. And so if you did good in your boats, you can actually spawn in your F6F and your B-34 and get torpedo kills, which is what you want to do. Especially if you're against destroyers, uh, you can basically dive with both of these and release really close and get that uh, torpedo kill and get lots of damage. Um, so I was also doing the, um, for the event lineup, spading out... Uh, the gunboats. Um, this is also another 3.0 lineup, which is pretty good. And with the Heinkel 111 H6, which also carries two torpedoes, um, a little warning on these torpedoes, their drop altitude is really low. They have some of the lowest drop altitudes for any torpedoes in the game, except for the Russian torpedo. And as we all know, only one Russian bomber has torpedoes at lower ranks. So keep that in mind. These have to be dropped a lot lower than the American uh, torpedoes. And um, 
So if you take these, this lineup, like a 3.0, once again, um, with the Germans, you will have 88 millimeter cannons. Uh, you just have to get used to shooting them because destroyers do have bigger guns than you. But these 88s do lots of damage to destroyers. And so you will get lots of uh, damage. Because if you remember in the boat, achievements you are not going for kills you are basically just going for damage and then for the win of course um so once again the main thing you should be focusing in on is dis destroying three vehicles using torpedoes and then trying to come in first place um the little thing with coming in first place is you don't have to win so what you can do is when you're in a battle and you see the team doing really shitty, that's when you should step up your game because those people see they're not going to win and they will drop out the game. So you have to do good. You have to come in first place and just do your best. And when you do it, go in your plane and go in your plane and just kill everybody. Take like an IL-2 or something with bombs so you can do fighter roll and you can do a bombing here and there. And if you just stay alive and kill all the enemy planes, you're almost guaranteed first place. Um, if you get three or four plane kills, you will come in first place. So that's one thing you have to do is just if your team folds and starts being starts getting their asses kicked you need to do better you need to come in first place um same thing with the tankers um so i think on most of mine if you look at mine i've been getting 11 kills uh except for the first thing um basic getting 11 kills using in one battle and if you're in your 3-7 lineup that's really easy and kill 45 and assist. That's basically what I've been getting every time is they assist 45 and to kill 11. Those are the easiest things to do. And then the planes, if you can see, every month or every uh, period I've been getting 10 tons and basically assist. Um, in For the assist, what you really want to do is you need to get a friend get him up in that plane and just stick near each other. Um, and then so you guys can both get assist and one of you, one of the two are going to get the kills. Um, or if your friend needs the bombing, guess what? He goes up in a bomb, you go up in a fighter and you cover him and you guys both help each other out. Um, you might get the kills. He might get assist, but also dropping 10 tons um plus if you're up there with him you stay close to him people aren't going to go near him they're gonna who's gonna go after a bomber that's by himself or a bomber that's been covered by you know some other fighter so he can get his 10 tons and you get your kills so that's probably what you want to do um and that's probably i haven't been playing too many boats uh russian boats um they do have good guns, uh, 85 millimeter and 75 millimeter long barreled guns. They will do damage. Uh, once again, learn how to uh, aim them. And <clears throat> that's about it for the uh, the summer event. Everything's going good. Um, gonna be trying out the new vehicles pretty soon. And that's about it. Just remember, have fun. Don't stress out. Um, you know, if you miss a day, don't worry because you only need 10 out of 12 for the um, for the actual vehicles. You don't need the 12 marks of distinctions for each. You can take some time off. If it's getting too hard um, playing planes, switch to boats. If too hard playing boats, play tanks. Uh, switch it on and off. Don't you don't have to go through and do every single marks of distinction at the same time for that particular game mode. Uh, and once again, all this information is out for the uh, for Arcade, and um, I will see you in the skies next time. That's it. Thanks.